Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to understand different ways that you can utilize in a TestNG testing framework to skip certain test cases, right? So um, what we'll do is we'll uh, understand certain, you know, scenarios wherein uh, skipping the test cases is required and why do you need to skip your test cases different uh, certain conditions so for example uh, the first thing you might be required to skip a particular test case is basically the test case itself is not implemented right so you don't want to execute any unimplemented test case or uh, say for example you want to forcefully uh, skip certain test cases based on certain conditions so we'll understand all those possibilities and how you can utilize test ng testing framework to skip certain test cases so let me create a new class file and let me name this uh, class file as um, skip uh, demo test and within this uh, class file i'll uh, um, implement certain uh, scenarios wherein which you can utilize to skip your test cases. So the first scenario, say for example, you are working on a particular test case and that test case is still in progress and not being completed. So you don't want somebody to, you know, uh, pull that particular test case uh, based on the group that you have uh, specified for that test case and being executed. So you can specify, uh, you know, uh, the attribute for that particular test case enabled is equal to false and that particular test case will be skipped so what we can do is we can simply say say for example your test case is public void um, your first test say i'll say skip test one okay so for example this is the method or the test case that you are trying to implement right and let me just uh, print out some statement um, skipping this test as it is not complete right say so this is the case so how you can skip that so I'll use the annotation test and import the test ng annotation and I'll utilize the attribute here along with the test right so in the brackets I can say enabled is equal to false okay and now with this attribute what this will do is it won't execute this particular test case at all so you won't see that so in this case if you see um, you know here in the results this is the previous uh, execution that i have done so here you can see uh, you know test cases being skipped are shown in the results right so in this case skip test one won't be shown at all because this is not complete so it won't be even executed or it won't be picked for the execution now there are certain skips or exceptions that you can specify which will be based on certain conditions say for example uh, you are trying to test a particular scenario and that particular scenario required certain data to be created successfully and if there has been certain exception or issues in data creation and the data creation step got failed then based on that exception or failed data uh, creation you don't want to you know execute further test cases you want to skip the test cases if data creation has failed so you can forcefully you know provide the condition to skip those sort of test cases so the second test case if for example i'll copy you know this uh, test and I'll rename it to two and then the third way to skip test case and I'll rename it to three okay so along with these tests I'll add the test annotation so I'll add the test annotation for all three test cases so first one we have seen that we can uh, provide the attribute enabled is equal to fall uh, the second one um, uh, approach to skip is to basically uh, provide a throw new exception okay so you can um, throw the exception a skip exception exception so you can simply say throw new skip exception all right within your test case and specify the reason for skipping okay so just um, skipping this test so you can forcefully uh, skip 
the test case by just using throw new exception and skip exception and import this skip exception from org.testng. So this is second way to skip this particular test. All right. So this is, um, let me save it. And there is some error. There is something wrong. Okay. So here, uh, semicolon was missing. Okay. So this is second way and third possibility is basically based on certain condition which will be very commonly used in your test cases. So um, say for example, you are expecting something to be uh, ready before you want to execute second step or second test case. These sort of scenarios will be very common across your automation and that is why this third step is or the third way is very, very important to understand. Now based on certain conditions, say for example, um, you are trying to set up certain data so there is a test case or a, or you know a method which is setting up certain data but that data is not being set up and you uh, and that particular test case got failed and based on that failure you want to skip a particular or the future test cases okay so for now i'll just say you know i'll specify a boolean um, variable okay so i'll simply say boolean and I'll say, um, you know, data setup is equal to true. All right. So I'm just, you know, assigning some value uh, to data setup. So in case data setup is successful, you know, the, it, is, it will return true. Or uh, if data setup is, you know, like not su successful, uh, I'll get a return value as false. Okay. So just, just to show you, just in case, you know, data setup is is true then it will execute further steps if not then it should skip further steps okay so i have specified that boolean um, variable and now based on that variable i want to either execute certain uh, steps in a test case or skip the particular test all right so what we can do here is now we can say uh, skipping um, so here skipping this test i'll simply change this and then uh, force forcefully okay and then here skipping this test based on condition All right so this is the third way now what we need to do is so if the data setup is successful so we can use if else here so we can say if data setup is equal to true okay then i want to execute the test case all right so what i want to do is i'll simply print uh, the command here so i want to say i want to execute the test else if the data setup is not successful then i want to fail the test or skip the test right so do not execute further steps okay and with this case what i want to do is so in this case i'll simply say here i'll say throw new skip exception all right and i can also just copy and paste the message that I want to display. Okay, so what this scenario does is basically based on certain conditions. So for example, I want to execute, you know, uh, some functionality or uh, the transaction, but uh, um, once I log into a portal, before I run that particular, say, transaction, uh, I need certain data to be available to perform that transaction. So customer detail need to be available. So customer detail itself are not being set up correctly. So in that case, I don't want to execute the transaction step, right? So if this data setup is true, then or the customer data has been set up, uh, you know, successfully, if it is true, I'll execute further steps. Otherwise, I'll say do not execute, you know, further steps and I'll, you know, skip this particular test case with the skip exception. Okay, so let's try and run this particular um, class and see the results. 
So in this case, what will happen is it will skip one test case. Uh, sorry, two test cases. So here you can see the first one won't be executed at all because this is not complete. So it won't be even available in the results, right? So it is completely skipped and not executed at all. The second one we had skipped through the skip exception and you can see that skipping this test forcefully has been printed there, right? And if you see skip test two, skipping this test has been printed with the skip exception, right? Now with the third test case, this is based on the condition. So if data setup is true, so because the data setup is true, right? We have passed the value as true, then execute this particular test case and the uh, test case three, skip test three has been passed and you can see that in green, okay? And uh, if we scroll down a little bit here you can see two tests run only one skip right and if we change this data setup so for example data setup you know uh, wasn't successful okay so now in this case it will come to else and it should skip both of these test cases or all of these test cases first one won't be, won't be recorded because this is not even you know uh, ready for execution so it won't be even recorded in the it won't be even picked for the execution so let me run this test again and this time all of the test cases should be skipped right so you can see skip test 2 this has been skipped and do not execute further steps right so this is the exception um, that we have got do not execute further steps has been skipped as well in this case because uh, the data setup was not successful and you can see in the skip test tree do not execute further steps has been printed in the skip exception as well so that's the technique to basically skip the execution of certain test cases using test ng and it is very very helpful and especially this you know like conditional skip uh, and forcefully skipping and the uh, skipping of the test cases which are not complete so all of these are really really important and to understand these where you want to use them in which scenarios you can use them uh, that's what we need to basically correlate based on what we are learning in this tutorial series and when you go to your actual project you need to correlate where you need to use which one uh, you know which technique to skip the test cases accordingly so that's all about skipping test case in test ng testing framework. Hope you liked the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.